This was I, I think this might have been the game of the morning. Ole Miss 52, Arkansas 51. I have talked a lot. I want you to jump in with this one. Yeah, I mean, it's a great game. It was back and forth. It's exactly what I expect from Arkansas Ole Miss. It's exactly what I think you were going to get here. I think these two teams are evenly matched. I think if they played this game nine times, I think this is exactly what it's going to look like, by the way, with possibly a different outcome three or four of the nine times. Arkansas's defense is really, really good. It, but sometimes that just doesn't matter. You've got Ole Miss. You've got them at home. You've got this offensive firepower. And, and they're going to to find weaknesses in what you do, and they're going to out-scheme everybody in the country almost. And, and as long as you can't out-athlete them, they're going to they're going to hang a big number on you. Now, can they stop anyone? Well, they got the stop when they had to, okay? Yes. Because because that's all it took was one or two stops in this game, and 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 that's the difference of the outcome. I loved Sam Pittman going forward on two to end the game. What I didn't like was the play call because. In the fourth quarter, throughout the, the whole game, really, you you were running the ball down their throat. You've got a better offensive line than their defensive front. And it's not close. And you try some cutesy little trick play, not trick play, but cutesy little pass play that 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 gets as soon as it gets blown up, you're done. Like you have no shot. But if you were to try any kind of run play at all, I I think you I think you get in. I think they get two 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 yards on them. Uh, they were getting two yards on them pretty easily the whole game. KJ Jefferson played his butt off, and I just think I really hated the play call. I, I think we get a different outcome if they run the football. And today we see this world differently. I, but I think so too. One of the best games you're going to watch all year, by the way. Oh, and yes. I bet a lot of people missed it because it was on at noon and they just weren't expecting it. Uh, Mike G jumped in. Tory Taylor for Heisman. That's the the Iowa punter. Yeah, he was he was magnificent in this ball game. Arkansas had 676 yards of total offense. Ole Miss had 611. Uh, but this is, I will I will tell you this, and this is going to sound maybe ridiculous on its face, right? Arkansas was the better football team than Ole Miss. Yeah, they just were. I agree with that. But this whole philosophy that you and I have have kind of come to terms with, where Great offense beats good defense every day of the week. Mm-hmm. This is what we're talking about. Arkansas was able to to get some stops. They were able to get some, but but when you have that explosive play in your back pocket, like Ole Miss had time and time again, there's nothing you can do. Like there's nothing you can do. Uh, Arkansas had 39 first downs to only 22 for Ole Miss. Ole Miss did not need first downs because no. here's the scoring opportunities, right? Once you get inside the 40-yard line, that's considered a scoring opportunity. Arkansas got inside the 40 10 times and scored 45 points. That's 4.5 per. Ole Miss got inside the 40-yard line five times and got 31 points out of it. Well, there's three other touchdowns that you got to account for there. Like, they had explosive plays that Arkansas... Arkansas did have explosive plays, especially late in that game once that defense was gassed. But overall, Arkansas was better set up to have sustained drives, to hold on to the football, et cetera. The time of possession here, Arkansas held on to the football for 35-plus minutes. I mean, it was almost 36 minutes to only 24-and-a-half for Ole Miss. But it, you don't need the ball when you're scoring, you know, 75-yard touchdowns. Well, that's right. And Arkansas scored and, get, and gave Ole Miss the ball back, took the lead, gave Ole Miss the ball back with three minutes to go in the game. And I thought, well, that's not enough time. Oh, that's too much time. And and then they score fast. And then Arkansas has the opportunity to score and end the game with no time left on the clock. What th- the difference in this game was the difference between – and this is not a knock on KJ at all because KJ played one of the greatest games I've ever seen him play. That's the difference between him and Matt Corral. Yes. Matt, Cor- Matt Corral doesn't care who your receiver is. Matt Corral is going to find guys open. He's going to throw guys open, and he's going to – destroy defenses. And so because he has that ability, he can run the ball so much better than everybody else when he's not the athlete that KJ is. KJ had Burks. And KJ was hitting Burks for crazy amounts of yards. Big hit, but his only big chunk plays were coming again to Burks. And and it's just that becomes predictable and you can stop him from running when you know what side of the field he's going to roll out to and run to with, with Corral, you don't know they're going to send guys deep on both sides of the field. So when the ball snapped, you don't know which side he's going to roll out to. And so if he wants to, to, to rush the ball, then he can. 
Yeah. Uh, Matt Corral, by the way, 14 out of 21 passing, 287 yards, two touchdowns. He also ran the ball 15 times for 94 yards and two touchdowns. Snoop Connor, 12 rushes, 110 yards, and three touchdowns. I mean, just absurd numbers. Absurd numbers. Let's see. Jumping into the chat, OBS Rum Drinker said, wow, this guy hates Lincoln. It looks like he's behind on the stream just a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, that's all right. It happens. Ryan McCracken said, had Bama first quarter, first half, and full game. A&M was making me work Sundays. Yeah, yeah, I can I can buy that. I can buy that. So, K.J. Jefferson, by the way, 25 out of 35 passing, 325, or sorry, 26 yards, three touchdowns, one pick. He also had 20 carries for 85 yards and three touchdowns rushing. This was a just an epic, epic battle and a lot of fun to watch. A hell of a fun to watch uh, game. Thanks for listening to the Winning Cures Everything podcast. The website is winningcureseverything.com, and if you want to connect with us, we're on Twitter, at GaryWCE, at ChrisBGiannini, at Winning Cures, or you can email us, Gary at winningcureseverything.com, or Chris at winningcureseverything.com. Subscribe everywhere you need to subscribe, and we'll see you soon.